हेलो एवरी वन माई सेल्फ संदीप दगड़े एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन सिस्पर वॉट इज एक्जैक्टली सिस्पर एंड वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ सिस्पर सो फर्स्ट सिस्पर इज अ नथिंग बट इट्स अ जर्मन एब्रीवेशन इन दैट इट मेन्शन सिस्पर मीन्स कमिटी इंटरनेशनल स्पेशल डे पटरविशन रेडियो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक इन इट मीन्स इंटरनेशनल स्पेशल कमिटी ऑन रेडियो इंटरफेरेंस सिस्पर इज अ टेक्निकल कमिटी विथ इन द इंटरनेशनल इलेक्ट्रोटेक्निकल कमीशन दैट इज आई सी एंड इन द सिस्पर ऑल्सो इट इज अ कमिटी इज कंस्टिट्यूटेड अ सेवन सब कमिटी दैट फुलफिल बोथ प्रोडक्ट वर्टिकल एंड द बेसिक स्टैंडर्डाइजेशन रोल सिस्पर वॉज इस्टैब्लिश इन नाइनटीन थर्टी थ्री एंड हैड इट्स अ फर्स्ट मीटिंग इन जून नाइनटीन थर्टी फोर इन अ पैरिस विद द रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ अ सिक्स नैशनल कमिटी ऑफ आई सी बेल्जियम द नेदरलैंड then luxembourg france germany and uk today cispar one of one tenth technical committee of ic then member of cispar are 41 national committees 24 participants 17 observers ebu etsi cigre iaru and both itu r and itut cispar was established to consider the protection of radio reception from interference every country has their own standardization here we will understand ki how it is a segregated then this is a commercial standardization flow graphs in that you can observe ic and iso are two different organizations but they are working together so first in ic it it covers TC 65, CISPR TC 77, TC 88. In that you can see China has their own uh, standardization like SSC. Then Japan has their standardization VCCI. USA has their own standardization ANSI and FCC. Then by collaboration with IEC and ISO, they have standardization like CNE, EL, EC, CENLAC. ETSI and CN that is a nothing but European standardization organization and in that Australia has their own standardization like OVE Germany has a DKE and further EEA members so these are the their own standardization of the countries so here in a uh, right hand so you can see IC is nothing but international electrotechnical commission ISO is a international organization for uh, standardization cispr is a international special committee on the radio interference cn is a european committee for the standardization and then cen elec is a european committee for electrotechnical standardization and etsi is a european telecommunication standards institute cispr the standard they have published in a different level they have their own publication level there is a uh, published their standards in the three levels one is a basic standard second is a generic standard and third one is a product standard in a basic standards they give a they define the measurement apparatus measurement methods measurement uncertainty and test facilities in the product standards they were specifically given about the product which type of product you can test and what type of product they have covered in that standards like a cispr 11 cispr 22 cispr 12 cispr 14-1 cispr 15 cispr 25 and cispr 32 cispr 36 all these are product standards in that they mention which type of product you can perform and how to perform they have mentioned everything at what level you have to perform at what type of setup you have to do everything is given in the product standards in the generic standards they have given by ic 61000-6 series of emission testing in that they have given the ic 61006-3 for equipment in residential environment ic 61006-4 for equipment in industrial environment now newly added ic 61006-8 for professional equipment in a commercial and light industrial location these these are three different levels in that they have mentioned 
कि हाउ स्टैंडर्ड्स हैज डिफाइंड एज अ बेसिक स्टैंडर्ड्स जेनेरिक स्टैंडर्ड्स एंड प्रोडक्ट स्टैंडर्ड्स नाउ वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द सिस्पर इलेवन सिस्पर इलेवन द स्टैंडर्ड इज फॉर इंडस्ट्रियल साइंटिफिक एंड मेडिकल आई एस एम रेडियो फ्रिक्वेंसी इक्विपमेंट रेडियो डिस्टर्बेंस कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स लिमिट्स एंड मेथड ऑफ मेजरमेंट दिस इज द टाइटल ऑफ सिस्पर इलेवन देन वॉट स्कोप इट हैज कवर इन दैट इट हैज कवर इक्विपमेंट डिजाइन टू जनरेट एंड और यूज अ लोकली आर एफ एनर्जी फॉर इंडस्ट्रियल साइंटिफिक मेडिकल डोमेस्टिक और सिमिलर पर्पज एक्सक्लूडिंग एप्लीकेशन इन टेलीकॉम एंड आई टी और कवर्ड बाय अदर सिस्पर पब्लिकेशन क्लास ए इक्विपमेंट इज फॉर यूज इन ऑल इस्टेब्लिशमेंट्स अदर दैन डोमेस्टिक एंड मे बी मेजर्ड ऑन अ टेस्ट साइट और इन एस आई टी यू क्लास बी इक्विपमेंट इज अ सुटेबल फॉर यूज इन अ डोमेस्टिक इस्टेब्लिशमेंट एंड मे ओनली बी मेज सो इन दैट वॉट इज द मेन टेस्ट एंड वॉट इज द फ्रिक्वेंसी रेंज इन अ सिस्पर इलेवन सो वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड हियर द मेन टर्मिनल डिस्टर्बेंस वोल्टेज फ्रॉम वन फिफ्टी किलो हर्ट्स टू थर्टी मेगा हर्ट्स मेजर्ड ऑन टेस्ट साइट यूजिंग फिफ्टी ओम फिफ्टी माइक्रो इन दिस सिस्पर आर्टिफिशियल मेन्स नेटवर्क और अ वोल्टेज प्रोफ इफ ए एम एन कैनॉट बी यूज फॉर रेडिएटेड इमिशन इट्स फ्रॉम थर्टी मेगा हर्ट्स टू थाउजेंड मेगा हर्ट्स on test site group 1 class a has a standard limit now we will discuss about the cisper 12 what is the exact cisper 12 what is the purpose of the cisper 12 standard cisper 12 standard is nothing but a automotive equipment protection of off board receivers from frequency 30 megahertz to 1 gigahertz so here both broadband and narrow band class b emissions limit given at a 3 or 10 meter distance measured on outdoor test site not standard cisper okay or within the anechoic shielded room with a fixed antenna height this is the main test purpose cisper 12 applies to vehicles and boats driven by the internal combustion engine or the electrically and devices with an internal combustion engine it is a whole vehicle test rather than applying to sub assemblies and is intended to protect the radio reception away from vehicle now we will discuss about the cisper 14-1 the name of the cisper 14-1 standard is electromagnetic compatibility requirements for household appliances electric tools and similar apparatus part 1 emission product family standards what the scope of the standard the scope of the standard is appliances whose main function are performed by a motor and switching or regulating device amendment a dates to added induction cooking appliances excluding apparatus covered by other cisper standards except for a multifunction equipment semiconductor regulating control of more than 25 ampere per phase stand alone power supplies all are excluding from the standards now we are going to discuss about cisper 15 the title of the standard is limits and methods of measurement of radio disturbance characteristics of electrical lighting and similar equipment what is the exact mention in the standard the main in the standard they have mentioned cisper 15 applies to radiated and conducted emission of radio frequency disturbance from lighting equipment the lighting part of multifunction equipment where this lighting part is primary be function uv and ir radiation equipment for residential and non industrial applications advertising signs decorative lighting emergency signs and what are excluded in the standards these are components or modules intended to be built into a lighting equipment and which are not users replaceable lighting equipment operating in the ism frequency band lighting equipment for aircraft and airfield facilities video sign installations 
all these are ex excluded from this standard the frequency range covered is 9 kilos to 400 gigahertz no measurements need to be performed at the frequencies where no limits are specified in this document multifunction equipment which is subjected simultaneously to different clauses of this document or other standard need to meet previous of each clause standard with the relevant function in operation next is cispr 25 this standard is used for automotive equipment protection of onboard receivers the title of the standards is vehicle boats and internal combustion engines radio disturbance characteristics limit and methods of measurement for the protection of onboard receivers the exactly the cispr 25 contains the limit and procedure for the measurement of radio disturbance in the frequency range of 150 kilos to 5925 meg these documents applies to vehicle boats internal combustion engines trailers devices and any electronic electrical components intended to use in a vehicle boat trailer and devices refer to international telecommunication union publication for the details of frequency allocation the limits are intended to provide protection for onboard receivers installed in a vehicle from disturbance produced by the components modules in the same vehicle the limits in this document are recommended and subject to modification as agreed between the customers and the supplier this document is also intended to be applied by the vehicle manufacturer and suppliers which are to be added and connected to the vehicle harness or to the onboard power connectors after delivery of the vehicle this document defines test methods for use by vehicle manufacturers and suppliers now we will discuss about cispr 32 the use of the standard is multimedia equipment the title of the standard is electromagnetic compatibility of multimedia equipment emission requirements cispr 32 applies to multimedia equipment as defined in 3.1.24 and having a rated rms ac or dc supply voltage not exceeding 600 volt This publication covers two classes class A and class B the multimedia equipment classes are specified in clause 4 in this standards is cover multimedia equipment including that primarily for professional use defined as IT audio or video equipment broadcast receiver entertainment lighting control equipment or combination thereof with a supply voltage not exceeding 600 volt Equip equipment that has historically been within the scope of cispr 13 or 22 is now explicitly within the this scope in this standards conducted emission on the main port quasi peak and average detection from 150 kilos to 30 megahertz measured using the elison which has a specification of 50 ohms and 50 micro henry inductor in a cispr artificial mains network method according to the standard annex c and cispr 16-2-1 now we will discuss about cispr 36 this standard is used for automotive equipment protection of off board receivers below 30 megahertz the title of this standard is electric and hybrid electric road vehicles radio disturbance characteristics limit and method of measurement for the protection of off board receivers below 30 megahertz the cispr 36 define limit for 3 meter measurement distance and method of measurement that are designed to provide a protection for off board receiver in the frequency range of 150 kilos to 30 megahertz when used in the residential environment CISPR 36 define applies to the emission of electromagnetic energy which might cause interference to the radio reception and which is emitted from electric and hybrid electric vehicles 
propelled by the internal traction battery when operated on the road this document applies to vehicle that have a traction battery voltage between 100 volt and 1000 volt if you like this video like share and subscribe my channel if you want to understand in more deeply how to perform the test all the videos link given in the description you can go through it and watch all the videos to understand how to perform the different type of test thank you so much